So, first, let's have the definition of rational equation. So, yun muna tayo, rational equation. Pagka sinabing rational equation, so these are equation involving rational expressions. So, meron tayong rational expressions. So, isa-isay natin, equation. Kailan ba tinatawag na equation? Ang isang mathematical sentence, kapag merong equal sign, so kailangan may equal sign. Yun muna yung una nyo hanapin, may equal sign ba yung sinosolve ko? Pag wala, hindi mo sasolve yun. Halimbawa, yung x plus 4 is simply a expression. Mathematical expression lang yan. Kasi walang equal sign. Pero pag ginawa ko yan na x plus 4 equals 2, so yan ay equation na. Ito hindi kayang isolve to kasi wala naman tanong eh. Ito, kaya itong isolve. Okay, x plus 4 equals 2, masasolve natin yan. So, ito ang equation. Merong presence ng equal sign. Okay, then rational expression. So, tinatawag na rational expression kung siya ay merong present ng ratio o kaya naman fraction. So, pag sinabing ratio or fraction, dapat siya ay naka-numerator over denominator format. Okay, so naka-n over d format. Pag sinabi natin na rational expressions. Okay, so example. So, this is an example of rational equation. Kasi yung ating left side of the equation, una, may equal sign. Una, may equal sign. Correct? Yung left side natin, merong numerator. May denominator. Yung pangalawa natin, merong numerator. Merong denominator. So, correct, na satisfy niya yung condition of being a rational equation. So, siya irrational equation. Okay? So, yan ang rational equations, ha? These are equations involving rational expressions. So, meron siyang ratio or fraction. Okay? But before we proceed with solving rational equations, we will have first the review of solving equation. Mag-solve muna tayo ng equations natin. Okay, so we have 2x plus 1. So we will solve for the value of x. Ang ating gagawin dito ay isosolve natin ang value of x. Okay, so example number 1, we have 2x plus 1 equals 4. Number 2, 5x minus 3 equals 2x plus 5. Number 3, 3x, minus, uh, 3x equals 3 over 4. 4, 2 over 3x equals 1 half. And number 5, negative 2x plus 4 equals 2 minus x. Okay, so let's have example 1. 2x plus 1 equals 4. So, anong unang gagawin? So, ang mga gagamitin natin dito ay pwedeng transposition method, pwedeng division method, pwedeng cross multiplication. In this case, ang applicable lang dito, transposition. So, again, nakalagay dito review kasi naaral to ng junior high. Nire-review lang natin para ma-recall dahil important itong lesson na to sa ating lesson. Para, mag para makapag-proceed tayo with our lesson. So, 2x plus 1 equals 4. So, ililipat yung plus 1, magiging minus 1. So, this will become 2x equals 4 minus 1. Kasi tumawid yung plus 1, naging minus 1. Then, 2x equals 4 minus 1. So, that will be equals to 3. Then, over 2, over 2. So, x na lang matitira, cancel yung 2, matitira yung x. So, x is equals to 3 over 2, ilo-lowest term natin. So, para ma-lowest term siya, that will be 3 divided by 2. Kasi siya ay improper fraction. Improper fraction to kasi mas mataas yung numerator kumpara sa denominator. So, kailangan siya maging mixed number. Okay, paggawa ng mixed number, gagamit natin ng quotient, uh, quotient remainder over divisor. So, ang quotient natin dito is 1. 3 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And then, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, ito ang ating quotient. Ito ang ating remainder. Ito ang ating divisor. So, ang mangyayari dyan will be 1 and 1 half. So, quotient 1, remainder 1, divisor 2, 1 and 1 half. So, the answer is 1 and 1 half. Okay, so 1. Example 1. Next, example number 2. So, transposition pa rin. So, copyin ko muna. So, we have 5x 
minus 3 equals 2x plus 5. So, we have 5x. May iwan kasi may letter. Lahat ng letter may iwan sa kaliwa. Letter left. Lahat ng number sa kanan. So, number. Okay. So, 5x. Ililipat ang 2x. Tatawid siya ng equal sign. 2x. Pag tumawid, magbabago ng sign. So, magiging minus 2x. Equals. Copy 5. Copyin yung 5. Balikan yung negative 3. Tatawid ang negative 3. Pag tawid ang negative 3, magiging plus 3. So, every time that a term passes the equal sign, it will have the reverse sign. Okay? So, tuwing tatawid ang isang number or isang letter sa equal sign, nababago yung sign niya ng kabaliktaran. So, 5 minus 2, we have 3. Copy x. Equals 5 plus 3, we have 8. Divided by 3, divided by 3. Cancel yung 3, but it writes x. Equals 8 over 3. Okay, lowest term natin. So, we have 8 divided by 3. We have 2 times 3, 6. And then we have 2. So, we will have here x is equals to 2 and 2 third. So, x equals 2 and 2 third. Next, let's proceed. 3x equals 3 over 4. So, hindi na applicable yung transposition method na ginamit sa example 1 sa example 2. So, hindi na applicable ang transposition method dito. Magkakaroon tayo dyan ng cross multiplication. So, if a number or term has no denominator, automatically, ang denominator niya is 1. Pag walang denominator ang isang number or isang term, mathematical term, so, the denominator will be 1. Cross multiply. 4 times 3x, we have 12x. Unahin yung may letter. Equals 1 times 3, we have 3. Then, to remove 12, so divided by 12. Divided by 12. Cancel 12. Matitrize x. 3 over 12, ilo lowest term lang natin. So, i-divide natin both with the GCF. So, ang kanyang greatest common factor ay 3. Dahil both numbers are divisible by 3. So, ang final answer will be 1 over 4. Okay, so 3 over 12 is equals to 1 over 4. Pagka ni lowest term natin. So, answer is 1 over 4. Anong ginawa? Cross multiply. If a term has no denominator, automatically the denominator is 1. Okay, proceed. Example number 4. So, ito rin. This is a same all example of cross multiplication but in this case kung nasa gitna yung letter x natin tandaan nyo the variable is always together with the numerator lagi siyang kasama ng numerator okay so sa numerator sasama ang ating literal coefficient or variable or letter sa numerator siya palagi kasama so okay so let's have the solution 2 over 3x is equals to 1 half. Cross multiply. So, 2 times 2, we have 4, copy x. Equals 3 times 1, wala na siyang letter ha. 3 times 1, we have 3. Kasi yung x natin sumama na kay numerator. So, 4x equals 3. Divided by 4. Divided by 4. Cancel 4. Matitira is x. So, equals to 3 over 4. So, the answer is 3 over 4. Okay, next example, 5. Okay, so we have negative 2x plus 4. So, negative 2x plus 4 equals 2 minus x. Okay, so again, we will have the transposition method here. Transposition pa rin tayo. So, copy negative 2x. Ilipat yung negative x. So, magiging plus x siya plus x equals copy 2 ilipat yung plus 4 tatawid ang plus 4 magiging minus 4 so pinagsama-sama lahat ng may letter sa kaliwa lahat ng walang letter sa kanan negative 2x plus x so that's negative 2 plus 1 so negative na lang matitira negative 1x pero yung 1 hindi na nilalagay equals 2 minus 4 that is negative 2 
bawal ang may negative sa x so tandaan in our final answer so it is prohibited for us to have a negative in our variable bawal ang may negative sa x so i-multiply natin para mawala i-multiply yung buong equation sa negative Okay, hindi ko alam kung ganito rin yung piniliwanag ng teacher nyo sa junior high Pero pare-pareho lang naman yon kahit iba yung procedure nila Baka ginagawa dun, dinidivide naman nila Pareho lang din yon. So, negative times negative, positive, patitra is x Equals negative times negative, positive So, that will be 2 So, final answer will be x equals 2 Okay, solving equations because solving equations is significant in our lesson. So, kailangan natin siya sa ating lesson. Okay, proceed tayo now. Let's have our lesson proper now. So, review pa lang yan. So, the lesson is solving rational equation. So, pag sinabing rational equation, most of the expression involved are in the numerator over denominator format. Naka N over T format. Kaya tinawag na rational because rational so is synonymous to fraction. So, naka-fractional format siya. Rational. Kanina, hindi ito rational. Equation lang to Simple equation lang. Kasi hindi naman naka-fraction eh. O, ngayon, rational. Okay, anong unang gagawin? So, pag ganito yung example ko, nakakulay white background, naka-picture lang, Ito ay galing sa module. Okay, galing sa module to. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga example doon, yung mga exercises doon, yun ang sinasagutan ko para magamit yung module. Kaya nga, maganda, dinadownload nyo yung module, nire-review nyo. Kasi doon lang kumukuha ng lesson. Okay, so, ang unang gagawin is cross-multiplication. So, i-cross-multiply natin. Okay, cross multiply. So, pag tinuloy natin, that will be 5 times 7x plus 12 equals to, kinopya ko lang muna, times 4x plus 3. Okay, distributive multiplication. Distribute lang tayo. 5 times 7, 5 times 12. 2 times 4, 2 times 3. So, 5 times 7, we have 35, copy x, plus 5 times 12, 60, equals 2 times 4, 8, copy x, plus 2 times 3, 6. Okay, pag ganito na yung sitwasyon, natanggal mo na yung rational expression mo, natanggal mo na yung ratio or fraction, babalik ka lang uli sa ganito. Magiging ganito na yung solution. Transposition method. Okay? So, magiging ganyan yung solution natin. So, transposition. Maiwan ng 35x. Itawid ng 8. So, it will become negative 8x. Okay? Equals 6. Itawid ang 60. Magiging minus 60. Yung 6, kinopya lang. 35 minus 8, 27. Copy X. Equals 6 minus 60, negative 54. Over 27, para matanggal. Over 27 yung kabila. So, cancel ang 27, matitra is X. Equals negative divided by positive, negative. 54 divided by 27, that is negative. Two. So, ang final answer is negative 2. Okay, example number 2. Let's proceed now. Okay, example 2. So, same thing, cross-multiply pa rin tayo. So, we'll have here 4 times 2x plus 1 equals 2 times x, we have 2x.
Okay, and then simplify. So, 4 times 2, we have 8. X plus 4 equals 2X. 8X copy. Tawid than 2X, so minus 2X equals Itawid ang 4. So, it will become negative 4. 8 minus 2. We have 6x equals negative 4. Then, over 6. Over 6. So, x is equal to negative 2 over 3. So, x, cancel yung 6. x is equal to negative, and then lowest term ng 4 over 6, that is negative 2 over 3. So, negative 2 thirds. Okay, example number 3. Okay, listen class. Example number 3. Okay, so we have cross multiply. So this is 3 times x minus 2 equals 4 times x plus 2. So we have 3x minus 6. Distributive multiplication. 3 times x, 3x. 3 times negative 2, negative 6. 4 times x, we have 4x. Plus 4 times 2, we have 8. And then transposition. So copy 3x. Pag sinabing transposition, that is the process of uh, uh, transferring the term with literal coefficient towards the left side of the equation and term without literal coefficient towards the right side. Yan ang transposition. Pinagsasama-sama yung may letter, pinagsasama-sama yung walang letter. Copy 3x. Na-transpose natin ng 4. Pag lumipat ng negative sign tumawid, it will become negative 4x equals 8, copy 8. Tatawid natin ng negative 6, that will become plus 6. Okay, so negative 3 minus 4, negative x na lang matitira. Negative 1x, pero negative x na lang yon. Then, 8 plus 6, we have 14. Dahil nga, bawal ang may negative sa x, so multiply the whole equation by a negative sign, so that will be x equals negative 14. So, ang alam ko si Arvian yung naunang tama sa answer. Okay, so tatandaan natin yun. So, Arvian, lilista ko na lang yun. So, meron siyang plus sa quiz. Okay, let's proceed now. Let's have example 4. Paparaho pa rin. Kung sino pa rin ang maunang mag-chat, ganun pa rin. Bibigyan natin ng incentive. Yan na yung ating pinaka-recitation. Mahirap mag-recitation online eh. Pero subukan pa rin natin kahit mahirap. Okay, example 4. O, go. Same procedure yan. So, example 4. So, cross-multiply tayo. Okay, so 1, 3x minus 1 times 1. Hindi ko na ilalagay yung 1. Kukopihin ko na lang yung 3x minus 1. Kasi para ko naman na siya. Equals 2 times x, we have 2x. So 3x, itawid ang 2x. Now that will become negative 2x. Itawid yung negative 1. It will become 1. 3 minus 2, x na lang matitira x na lang matitira. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-multiply kasi positive na siya. Equals 1. So, ang answer ay 1. Okay. So, okay. Example 5. Go. go. So, we have x minus 2 times 5. So, we have Didiretso ko na. 5 times x, we have 5x minus 10 equals 2x plus 4. Kasi times 1 naman. So, 5 times x, yun yun. 
5x and then 5 times negative 2, negative 10. 2x plus 4, kukopi nila kasi 1 lang naman yung multiplier niya. Okay, so we have 5x transpose 2x, so that will be negative 2x equals 4. Lipat ang negative 10, so that will be plus 10. 5 minus 2, we have 3x equals 14. So, over 3, over 3. So, cancel on 3, matitira is letter x. So, 14 divided by 3, that will is 4. That is 4 and 2 thirds. So, ang answer ay 4 and 2 thirds. Ah, 4 and 2 thirds. Tama ba? Okay, so 14 divided by 3. So, 4, 12. Okay, 4 and 2 thirds. So, answer is 4 and 2 thirds.